This past Saturday, May 7th, South Sunnis in the diaspora held a rally in the U.S. Capitol, Washington, D.C. Join us as we discuss this and more only on Beyond the Headlines. Our guest on the program is Mr. Alfred Stevens, who was among the organizers of the rally held in Washington, D.C. Welcome to Beyond the Headlines. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You held a rally in Washington, D.C., which brought South Sudanese from across the U.S. to the capital. What was the purpose of the rally? Uh, first of all, uh, let me thank you for this uh, great opportunity. Uh, my name is Alfred Stephen, and um, uh, I'm the co-chair uh, with uh, Brother Abraham Loli. Uh, we uh, concerned citizens of uh, South Sudan. Uh, last week, we hold uh, a peaceful rally in Washington, D.C., uh, and, and that uh, brought um, uh, all our South Sudanese people from different aspects of, of, uh, of their backgrounds. Uh, we, we went there. And the purpose for that rally is uh, primarily to appeal for all our South Sudanese people uh, to come together and, and to our uh, intervention uh, uh, from uh, regional international uh, community to end the bloodshed and the human rights abuses uh, in our country, South Sudan. You mentioned that uh, people from different parts of the U.S. came to be part of the rally. Where did they come from? Which state specifically? Uh, actually, they came from all over the states. Uh, uh, they came from all over the states. Uh, that is, uh, as we know, we do have a lot of uh, large uh, South Sudanese community in the United States. Uh, there's people came from Texas, uh, from uh, North Dakota, from Washington, D.C., from North Carolina, from uh, Tennessee, from Iowa, from all these places where the South Sudanese are residing. Your appeal is to end the ongoing conflict and humanitarian crisis in the country. Who are you specifically targeting and appealing to? Uh, yeah, this is a great question. Um, as all of us, we know, uh, the United States, uh, we consider the United States is the godfather of our country, uh, South Sudan. And the United States has put a lot of pressure uh, to end uh, the, 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 the conflict in our country. Uh, let me just uh, uh, go back uh, a little bit. Uh, when we got our country in 2011, uh, we as a South Sudanese, we were so uh, aspired and so happy to go back to our country, to live as the first uh, uh, class citizen in our country uh, with the prosper uh, uh, nations in, 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 uh, in the world. But unfortunately, uh, our leaders just put us back to war again. And, 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 um, and that's why we came to uh, tell the United States government and the, uh, the United Kingdom, the Norway, the Australia, the, the African uh, Union, the EGAT, and the European Union and the United Nations uh, also to intervene in the situation that's happening in, in Europe, Sudan, uh, so they can end up uh, in this uh, bloodshed and the human, uh, humanitarian crisis that is facing the country. And uh, we went there and we delivered uh, uh, that message to the uh, 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 Joe, uh, uh, President of the United States, Joe Biden. Yes, you know, during the rally in Washington, D.C., you planned, of course, on delivering a written document to the U.S. government. You mentioned Joe Biden. Um, how were you able to go ahead and ensure that he received the written document? And what was contained within the, the letter itself? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, the, the document, uh, because uh, we know after the uh, January 6th uh, last year what happened, uh, things has become very tight in the United States. And, and in order for that to be delivered, there is uh, a security uh, uh, procedures need to be done to deliver the, the, any uh, documents uh, to the president of the United States. And we were well to, uh, to do that. But let me just go back to the, to the letter, because in the letter we have some demands as the people of South Sudan uh, uh, that uh, we presented to the, uh, to, to the president. Uh, number one, that's what we need. We need um, uh, the United States to uh, reset and hold any financial support 
uh, that uh, enables the government of South Sudan to continue undermine the peace efforts and abuse of human rights of its citizens and neglect the constitution's duties and obligations. This is one of the things that uh, we put on the paper. And also the, the number two, also we need uh, the, 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 to renew the, the UN Security Council embargoes uh, uh, that to impose in South Sudan to enforce uh, sanctions on the individuals uh, that uh, 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 perpetuating violence and harming the, the, the citizen. Um, this is one of the things that we uh, delivered on the paper. Also, we need to con conceive and support the plan to uh, institute a new uh, functional transitional government, which can, uh, uh, which is, is it was a, because we, as we all know, there is a peace agreement, the federalized peace agreement is almost going to expire. And 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 uh, and without the accomplish of all the key provision that is not being meant, um, and in the last the, the coming of this year, uh, December of this year, if if that agreement is not being implemented fully, uh, we need the government, uh, we need the United States to intervene on that. For uh, we need a transitional, uh, functional government uh, to be in Juno Sudan. Did you and those who were involved in the rally try to reach out to the South Sudan? Um, embassy here in uh, Washington, D.C., since it's not too far from the capital itself? Uh, yes, actually, uh, that was one of our plans, but uh, unfortunately, the, the, the embassy was closed at that time. Um, uh, the embassy was closed. But uh, we also uh, sent them uh, this, uh, this letter also. We, we, we sent it to them, uh, like, by mail. And definitely, I think they got it by now. Mm -hmm. So you have not heard a response back from them in regards to the letter? Uh, no, we didn't hear anything from them yet. We know that apart from the national government or federal government, state governments and local governments also are important within the U.S. governing structure. Uh, do you plan on contacting your respective senators, the governors in your respective states as well, or are you primarily focused on delivering your message to the government here um, in the capital? Yes, that's a great question. Uh, actually, we do have a lot of our people. They already con uh, contacted the, the, the senators and the governors in the states. And also uh, the letter that we submitted to uh, President Biden, uh, uh, also they, they delivered this, uh, this the same letter to the senators in the states uh, because we know uh, that is going to be more effective as well for people to be uh, 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 connecting with the with the legislators and and, and the senators in, in the states. And have you received any response back from the legislators? Yes, uh, we do have some individuals. They already uh, get the response uh, uh, from the uh, from the legal, uh, 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 senators. Uh, some of the individuals they got uh, response from them. Yes. And what was the response? Uh, the response is like they will look uh, on this case and 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 they will uh, they will let us know. Um, as noted, one of the objectives of the participants or concerned citizens who took part in the rally is to mobilize South Sudanese across their political, ethnic, regional, and religious diversities within and outside South Sudan to demand an end to the crisis in the country. How do you plan on mobilizing the South Sudanese? here in the diaspora? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. Um, actually, we thanks uh, the social media. We thanks the social media. That's our main goal, to mobilize our people. We do have uh, um, some uh, social media uh, that we use, the, the, the Facebook, the, uh, the Twitter, the, the, the Clubhouse, uh, the Instagram, uh, all those uh, social media, we utilize this to, uh, to bring our people together. And also, uh, uh, we uh, do have some uh, uh, um, uh, some representative in and, and other states uh, who are helping us to mobilize uh, our people to come together. Are you planning on holding other rallies in the U.S. Capitol, or will you also go ahead and ensure that other rallies are held in other states as well? Yes, um, uh, we. Actually, this is it's not a just one time rally. It's going to be a continuation of rallies. Uh, definitely, we're going to have uh, uh, upcoming rallies are coming very soon. We didn't 
uh, fix the date yet, but soon we do have another rally. This rally is going to be in New York, uh, but we're still going to sit down as a team to uh, fix the date and, and, and mobilize our people to come to New York. Uh, that's for the next rally. And also, there is, uh, 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 there is a lot of support from our people uh, in Australia and Canada and Europe. Also, they are planning for the upcoming rallies as well uh, very soon. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Alfred Stevens, for joining me here on Beyond the Headlines. Uh, we appreciate you for coming on. I appreciate you. Thank you so much uh, for just uh, giving us this opportunity to come uh, at your platform. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page at Sunrise Media.